outbreak of Ebola in 2015. There was a message that went viral on drinking salt water and drinking God salt water. That it will cure you of Ebola or it will you even contact with Ebola in the first place. So my mom, my grandma, who has diabetes, high blood pressure, also fell into the group of victims. She congested that salt water and it led to some problems which which she was hospitalized in mm -hmm. but fortunately enough she's okay so that is my motivation from there i was i started thinking this online social media platform instead of sending out the wrong information to vulnerable people why not use it to good use and send out the good information the basic what you need to know that way. i came up with this idea okay using the online media to help our to disseminate information into the society. Well, it took me quite some time because they were looking the website, fixing all the uh, applications that would run the website. It's kind of tough, should I say, but it's okay. It took me like two, three months. Okay. It's unlimited. Anytime you can log in, even if you're tired, as you're going through the curriculum, when you get tired, you can easily log off. Then you can log in again at your own convenience and continue from where you stop. Statistics show that the audience spends two percent of their time on the online social media platforms. Doing what should I, should I say nothing or basically Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and all that. So this way, if we send out the information through the online media platforms, they will be, that is why I said the push and pull strategy because we will be pushing the information and we will be pulling them towards the information. That way, one will say, okay, oh, so Barali Maradipu, like, Ebola has this, oh, I didn't even know, but now I know. You can even redirect someone, go to that website and see, go to this, or go to that handle and see what they've been tweeting or what they've been posting. I just wanted to improve on the quality of uh, Nigeria Center for Disease Control because it is my place of primary assignment itself. Mm -hmm. so, but if other authorities would like to adopt it, then that will be very good because that is the main aim. Now that the NCDC is adopting the, uh, the portal, what do you get out of it? Well, I don't have a comment on that. Mm -hmm. I'm a youth service copper. Uh, call member, sorry. So, uh, this one year of the uh, compulsory uh, service is to give back to the community, to give back to the country. So, I am just giving back. I'm just playing my role in giving back to the community. But as a young person, you're using your your brains, your coding skills and all that. Isn't this sort of startup that will fetch you big money? Well, I don't have any comment for that. <laughs> okay, you said it took you three months, months. to build. Yes, to you... build all the courses, all the website contents, the, uh, uh, what, um, the applications, the applications for running the website. Mm. Yes. You did it from scratch? Or yes, from you, scratch. All the coding and everything. Yes. You said you did a BSc at ABU. Yeah, at Madibali University, Biological Sciences, to be specifically in zoology. That's the reason why I got interested in viral hemorrhagic fevers. So how then did you move into coding? <laughs> I knew this was coming. Well, I am surrounded by computer, should I say gurus? My dad is, an, is a genius in computer. All I know, I learned from him. Two, my sister is a computer scientist. Three, my aunt, she's a designer, computer designer. So I, and I work with them, so I know the basics and I can maneuver around the software. So where do you see yourself going from here? More coding or more of uh, health more of, sciences? More, more of health sciences because I'm interested in health sciences. But, but the reason why I chose the media, uh, the online media, is because it is we are in the social media revolution so the health sector has to go in the revolution 